With the units already hitting the shores, it was time for the Gracer to make his appearance, and the new Skaven Titan model is just amazing. I started off with the clothes, and since the guy is part of my clan scurvy army, I'm going with the classic yellow look, so I based the robes on Averlin Sunset. For the skin, I started with Rackhart Flesh. I wanted to have the fur grey, but not have it too dark, so I went with Administratum grey on the arms and on the neck. I usually go for dark brown for wood parts, but this time I wanted a lighter brown, so to keep a warm look on the model with the yellow. So this time I chose Gotor brown for the staff and the wood that he's standing on. I was thinking along the same lines for the wraps on the staff, so I went with batter brown this time. For the silver parts, I went with the usual choice of lead belcher on the sword, the armour and a few small parts across the model. For the bronze parts like the bell and the staff, I used Rune Lord Brass. For the rope around his waist, around the book and on his teeth, I went to Flayed One Flesh. For the scroll on his waist and the pages of the book he has, I picked out Xandri Dust and I know there's a lot of light brown to beige colours being used, but I'm confident, or at least hopeful, that the shades later will do enough to make them all look a bit different from each other. Staying with the book, I wanted the cover to be leather, so I based it with Doombull Brown. The final base colour is going to be the horns, and for that I used Bane Blade Brown. With the base coats on, it was time to start shading, and I started with the yellow, and I used Seraphim Sepia to shade the yellow down. For the skin, I went with Reikland Flesh Shade. I wasn't sure about what to use on the fur, so I took a chance with Basilicanum Grey, and it worked out great. The wood, wraps, bronze, rope, and the book pages were all then shaded with Agrax Old Shade. To finish the shading off, null and oil was then used on all the silver parts. I wanted the tail to stick out a bit more, so I gave it a light shading of Carburg Crimson. With a lot of the work done, now came the trickier parts of highlighting. I start off with Uriel Yellow, and I keep my hand as steady as possible, and I slowly paint the edges and higher parts of the clothes. I learned my lesson when highlighting flesh on the rat ogres and I completely overdid it on one of their faces. So this time I just make sure to highlight the very edges with flayed one flesh. For the fur, I just highlighted it with some Corax white. The wood, wraps and horns were then painted with Balor Brown. There was plenty of silver and bronze and both were then edge highlighted with Stormhost Silver. The last thing to do then was those beady little rat eyes, so I held my breath and I just about managed to get a small amount of Wild Rider Raid on the eyes. The finishing touch was then adding just enough Carbure Crimson to darken the eyes down. I have so many Skaven models, but I think this is the only Gracer that I have that wasn't part of the Screaming Bell kit. I really like this new model, but it's a bit strange to see one without any Warpstone on it. And the base fits perfectly with the Clan Scurvy army. The sand was done with Avalon Sunset, Seraphim Sepia, and a dry brush of Uriel Yellow and Corax White. The water was a Thousand Suns Blue, dragging off Nightshade, and then dry brush with a Thousand Suns Blue and Corax White. If you guys like this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't, and once again, thanks for watching.